Oh my God, I'm so excited. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Leo Patsu TV and family. So this is a long awaited, we keep getting requests on the original video I posted, which we will put a link down below if you haven't seen that one. It was the review and unboxing of my Nespresso video. Um, I purchased this about a year ago and it's still working, still fantastic, but I've been getting a lot of questions on that video and even about doing a review. So let's get into that. But first I wanna just touch on a few things. Um, they have come out with every uh, season, they do some limited edition uh, flavors. I myself don't really like very, very strong coffee. I like a number five or number six. That's kind of their levels on Nespresso. Um, this is actually my favorite, the Amaretti flavored one. It's actually delicious. I've already had two of these and I just purchased this this week. Um, the pecan biscotti is okay. I'm not 100% feeling it. I like this one more if I had to pick. It's not bad, but um, I do like this one better. So I'll just show you what the pods look like. Look how beautiful that is. Like Tiffany blue with gold, and this one is like a dark orangey kind of color with gold. They're so beautiful. Um, but about the taste, I love the Amaretti flavored one, and they are only limited edition, so I would get, oh, by the way, this is not sponsored. Nespresso, if you see this, sponsor me. Let's, let's hook it up. Um, but this is not a sponsored video. I just wanna put that, put that out there. So everything you are hearing are my feelings and my thoughts. Um, I'm not influenced by anybody paying me any money or giving me anything for free to try. But like I said, this one is my favorite. Go try them. They're only limited, so I believe once they sell out, they're gone. Um, the only thing that kind of sucks right now is you do, uh, during quarantine they had where if you spent $50, you would get uh, free shipping right now. I believe it's 100 or even 150 in order to get free sh shipping, which kind of sucks. So you actually have to go into a store, want to try the one or the two, um, which I did do. Um, just I just happened to be in the mall and I was like, okay, I need more coffee. So I went in and picked that up. So back to the machine, um, here's a bunch of different uh, flavors that I do have, the pumpkin spice cake, I'm savoring that, that was limited for the fall. Uh, these are kind of the ones we always have in here. I have the half calf, I have Stormio, which is for Leo Potzel himself as it's a little bit stronger. And I have the caramel cookie, that one is pretty good too. So that's kind of the ones we usually have standard stacked in here or in the Maluzio. I usually buy that one too, which I don't think, do I have? No, I don't have any more of those. But let's talk about the machine. So I have had to descale it already once. It was a pain in the butt. I'm not gonna lie, because it was the first time I was descaling it, didn't really know what to do. So maybe the next time I have to descale it, we'll do a video on that, just to kind of show you the process. The machine's working, I haven't had any issues. Oh God, knock on wood, the next thing you know, I, it's not working, and then I'm like, geez guys, I had to go and buy another machine, which I'm not trying to do. But it's been working, the coffee's still amazing. Yes, it's still hot, that was the number one question. Is it still hot? Yes, it's still hot. I, in a minute, I will show you, I will make a cup of coffee um, and show you how it comes out. But before we get into that, I'm gonna go into some of the questions that we've gotten on the video itself. Okay, let's pause this. That was our video. We will pull it a link down below so you can see it. All right, some of these comments on here are hilarious. The music though, ha ha ha, you're making coffee, not smoking weed. Leo is the one that does the music. It's not me, guys. Um, let's see. Oh, some more funny comments. Where can I find the pods? I personally like my French press, but we have had this machine for almost a year and have never used it. Okay, pods are online. Depending, they do have a, a US website or canadian.ca or .com, uh, nespresso.ca or nespresso.com. Um, Love the music, haha, it makes me feel like I'm ready to take on and conquer the coffee. Yes, girl. Um, how's the temperature holding up? The temperature is holding up, still comes out hot. I still have to wait a, a few seconds before I can have a sip of coffee because it comes out hot. Thank you, Mrs. As. I explained it better than the Nespresso videos themselves. Yes, that's why, Nespresso. 
sponsor me. <laughs> Give me some free coffee. Have we ran, run into any problems since owning the machine? Nothing yet besides the descaling, like I said. Knock on some wood. Yes, and I have used distilled water. That's the kind of water I normally use on this. I just got asked, do I use distilled tap water? No, I use distilled water. Our water where we live is very hard and would actually leave residues on the machine itself. People are say, asking if it leaks. No, I have not had any problems with the machine itself leaking. How do you pick the size for coffee in the Virtual Plus? I, this is usually the size coffee I always make one regular size pod, which is 230 mils, 7.77 uh, ounces. This is what I normally make. And I actually got a clear mug purposely to show you how it comes out. Let's see, okay. So I wanna address this. I have said <laughs> espresso, not espresso. Yes, guys, I know, I'm sorry. It's the European in me. I just always say espresso. It is what it is, always espresso. Not es espresso, espresso, yes, okay. <laughs> um, let's see, update on the machine, the leaking, we went over quite a few. Oh, they're asking how it tastes. Okay, I definitely would not still have this machine if I didn't enjoy the way it tastes because Leo Pozzo itself prefers Tim Hortons. Yeah, you heard it. He likes the watered down Tim Hortons coffee versus an espresso. He says it's too rich tasting. Yeah, it, I love it. it tastes delicious. Um, so I still own it. I actually do have like a regular percolator coffee that I do go in between here and there. When I have a lot of people over, I just do the percolated coffee. It's just a basic Hamilton Beach um, coffee maker. It's not usually on because I don't use it all that much. It's just if there's a few people over and we know we're going to have more than one cup of coffee, then I do that because let's be real, one of these pods go between $1.05 to $1.15 per pod. So say I have a group of 10 people over, I'm minimum spending $12, $13 for one cup of coffee. And let's be real, when you're chit-chatting with friends and you're eating dessert, you're having more than one cup of coffee. So when that happens, I just bust out my percolator. Um, what's our Instagram channel? So. What's your Insta? So Leo Pozzo TV has an Insta, right? It's just Leo Pozzo TV. I have one, um, Christine's Fit Life on Insta. What else do we have? Another one about the espresso, not espresso. Yes, guys, I got it. I'm gonna make a coffee so you guys can see it. Many people will find anything to complain about. This is true. People find things, but let's be happy. Let's enjoy life, you know, pick out the good things, not negative things. Have I made an espresso with the new machine? I don't tend to buy the smaller pods. I myself enjoy a bigger cup of coffee. And as I showed you in the past, which you would have seen, we did, we do still have the smaller Nespresso machine, which is the little pods. I don't tend to really use that machine because I like a bigger cup of coffee. So I put that machine away, sat on my counter for a good year. And I said, okay, you know what? I haven't used this in months. Let's just shove this away. So it's sitting underneath my cabinet right now. Let me find a couple more. No clear mug, people. I got the clear mug. <laughs> Uh, I already went on where we bought pods. I use the word basically too much. I know, it's just, it is what it is. It's just me, basically. Um, do they make hot chocolate? No, um, they, there is no pod for hot chocolate. All right, so let's make a cup of coffee. I went through some of the questions. There were a bunch of comments. Let's get to making a cup of coffee now. I'm gonna get my favorite one. The Emma Ready, so we're just gonna pop it up here. Pop this in, but what I tend to do, I use almond milk, but I toss in my almond milk into my machine. That's how much almond milk I usually, or just milk in general, even if I was making for somebody else, I would put in the milk frother. This is from Nespresso as well. Let's pop this on here, pop the lid on, and here we go. If you have any other questions, just add them in the link below and we'll try and answer right on there. I'll go on after this video is posted and check out some of your comments and I will respond back. So 
The way I normally make it now after having this machine for so long is I add the milk first and then I pop the coffee in on top. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna get my spoon good. It is almost done, I hear it going. Frothing up my almond milk. This does froth regular or skim milk a lot better than it does the almond milk, but, but look at that, it still does a pretty good job. So there's the milk in there. I'm gonna push that aside for now. I'm gonna pop this on top, press down. And that's it. Look at how beautiful that is coming out. And as you can see, there is steam coming out of the machine. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I don't know if the video is catching it, but there is steam popping up out of the machine. And you can see all the hot water there from the steam. Alrighty. So that's what it looks like when it comes out with milk. I did, like I said, had about that much almond milk. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some cinnamon in this. I love me some cinnamon. Stir this up. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. And look at the frothiness of the, of the even almond milk. Like it gets way frothier if you're using like 2% milk or even like whole milk or any other kind of milk. Normally I find the almond milk is the thinnest, but look at that. Look at all that froth even on my spoon. I love me some froth. <laughs> all right, guys. So I'm gonna have a sip, even though it's like literally blazing hot, you can't, like I can't even hold it like this. It is way too hot. I have to hold it by the handle and I'm scared to take a sip, but I wanna take a sip for you guys. Oh my God. Even just a bit of froth with just a tad bit of coffee amazing already guys let me know what you your thoughts of the video just in case you're wondering what this little handy dandy thing is it's actually not jewelry it is Cinco's receiver so the reason why I hopefully am a lot clearer than in the other videos is this little handy dandy little transmitter and receiver which is a microphone which is in the end a microphone yes just a mini one that I was able to pop on my shirt so this way at least you can hear me nice and clear um, the there is two pieces to this this little box is connected to that little box on top of the camera um, but We'll have a link down for that below just in case you're wondering. And filming this video, we are using a GH5 Panasonic, right? You got it. Oh my God, I got it right. And we got some lights going on. And yes, that's what's making my skin glow. <laughs> But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching our video and commenting. Subscribe. We have so many things coming this December, November. Um, like I said, if you haven't watched it yet, we have a Decorate With Me 1. This weekend, there is Decorate With Me 2 coming. 
and then we'll have a final reveal of all the trees. I do have another surprise coming up, but check it out. Follow us, uh, our Insta, Leo Paso TV, Christine's Fit Life. Um, and yeah, subscribe, comment, and like, please. No hate, just love. Bye guys, see you in the next one.